and welcome to TWF Friday Night Smackdown. And right now, Michael Cole said, as the land leader of play by play calling, I am here to say that to, I'm here to say that on Explosion and Impact next week, that we will see Madison Rain be working with Jonathan Coachman and Conan the Barbarian on Explosion and working with me and Conan the Barbarian on Impact. Alright, hi everyone, welcome to TWF Friday Night Smackdown. Michael Cole here with Ashley Williams and Corey Graves. And last week we uh, happened to see the Money in the Bank or Gals in the Box fight between, there was one by Dennis Rodman who has had a hang up with Jack Flagger, Jack Hagger, Michael Cole said. Yeah, that's right, Ashley Williams says. And speaking of hang-ups, I have a hang-up with Diva Talks, but we're not going to get into that because it's not the time or the stead for that. Well, it might not be the time or the stead for it, Corey Graves said, but it did happen. Diva Talks beat you up on NXT. Yeah, I'm sure she did, but... I don't want to talk about, uh, she beat you up big time on NXT, Corey Graves says. Yeah, and I don't want to talk about Ashley Williams said. Well, we're not going to talk about it, Michael Cole said. We are going to talk about, you know, So, uh, so, uh, AJ Styles says, I was told I had to fight Aladdin here on Friday Night Smackdown, but that looks like that is actually shifted. That looks like I'm only going to be beating up Jasmine. So, Jasmine, I sure hope you don't have to fuck around with that thing around your neck. No, they took that off and put it in a sack. But I sure hope that you're ready to go because I'm going to get back my world heavyweight winnings and make this the house that AJ Styles built. And I don't care what anyone says. Oh, so you don't care what anyone else says, right? You think that this is the house that you built? AJ, if I can go back way back to when you first came to the TWF. This may have been what, 2006, 2007 YL? Back when you first came here, you were nothing but this Marvel Toys TNA W doll that no one really knew what to do with. So, they didn't do nothing with you. It's only after you shifted into what you look like now that everybody started doing it. See, I don't want you to want to talk about my past. I want to talk about what we're doing now. And Jasmine, I'm here to tell you I'm going to take back my TWF heavyweight winnings from you. My world heavyweight winnings from you. And it is what it is, you know. So, I'm going to get a fight lord in the ring. But before I do that, you're going to do what? I want to say, Jasmine, that... Oh! What was that all for, Michael Cole says? What was that all about? That's Finn Balor. He did in the 1916. And the end of her. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is just sad. This is truly sad. Oh. Yeah, kind of funny. Got that whole new world song playing. We're getting a shit beat out of you. Oh, AJ Stella said that's sad. Michael Cole says that is truly sad. Well, that's the con. That's the way that AJ Styles and Finn Power behave. So that is sad. Yeah, it is. Ashley Williams said it truly is sad. What AJ Styles and Finn Power both did. I don't know. Corey Graves says if it was sad or not, but I do know we got this. Gotta see if she's alright. You ready to go? Yeah, she's ready to go. Alright, this is for the T... Okay, this is for the TW... This is for... Uh, 
All right, this is for the TWF, he the World Heavyweight Winnings. First, he is, well, let's see if we can shift it around here. Put it here, okay. First, he is from Gayville, Georgia, United States, or on the earth, AJ Styles. And she is from Agraba. She is the TWF, she is, the, I mean, the World Heavyweight winner, Jasmine, ding ding ding. You got star and Jasmine's out of it. She really is. Oh, she got beat up by Finn Balor before the fight got started. Now the Styles class, Michael Cole said. This is truly sad. Yes, it is, Ashley Williams said. This is sad and shameful all at the same time. How can it be, Ash? How can it be, Michael Cole and Ashley Williams? AJ Styles gonna be a two-time World Heavyweight winner. One. Two, three, ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Here is your winner. And the new world heavyweight winner, AJ Styles. And AJ Styles is now the new world heavyweight winner with the help of one of his old friends, Finn Balor. Well, geez, Finn. Thank you for helping me be the world heavyweight winner again. Well, anytime, AJ. Anytime. We OCs got to stick together. So they're still going on about that shit, Michael Cole said. And we all know that AJ Styles, Finn Bauer, Luke Gallows, and Tal Anderson, the OC, haven't been doing that much stuff lately. But we can see they're still doing that sad stuff. Yeah. I know they're doing a lot of sad things, Ashley Williams says. That is truly sad. You know? That is truly sad. Now, I, uh, Ashley Williams said, it's truly sad and shameful all at the same time. Yeah, Michael Cole said, it is shameful and it's sad what AJ Styles did. Hey, hey, Corey Graves says, we got Renee Young now. She's going to speak with a new world heavyweight winner, AJ Styles. Yeah. Ah, and I wonder how I wonder how AJ Styles is going to do is going to behave. How he can spin us? How can he spin us? I don't know. Michael Cole says, "Is he going to say he did all by himself?" I don't know. Take it away, Renee Young. Thank you, Michael Cole. I'm here with the new world heavyweight winner, AJ Styles. At least his winning goes way back. You want a belt? It goes back to at least 2001 YL with Hulk Hogan, and somehow folks say you shamed it, you besmirched it. Oh yeah, let them sing me all they want. I don't really care about being singed or singing, singed or singed. As far as I'm saying I shamed it or besmirched it, I don't think so, Renee Young. I mean, look, this belt only goes back to 2001 YL with Hulk Hogan and the one that Drew McIntyre has the TWF heavyweight winnings goes back to 1993 well earthquake okay let's be earnest about this this belt at one time you know was about the same and I knew I was going to win this belt back you know don't get me wrong, yes, I do know that this belt has gone around many wrestlers and fighters since 2001 YL, and I do know this belt started with Hulk Hogan and on so and on so. But the way I look at it is that at least I think I got at least what was Jasmine going to do when she won this again? Hold it for a long time? Jeez, we all are asked going that. Anyway, I beat it. I beat Jasmine on the New World Heavyweight winner. It is what it is. Should have been that way. Well, I'm telling you, Renee Young says, the way I see it is that you are shameful, see uh, uh, AJ Styles, for how you won the TWF, how you won the World Heavyweight winnings. I mean, having Finn Balor come out and do what he did. Finn Balor is only doing what OC followers do. And keep in mind, OC followers don't have to follow the same oversight as so many other teams have to follow. 
you know. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I think that I did a good job winning this bat. And I want to thank Diva Talks for helping me. Oh, hold on, hold on here, Diva Talks, says Renee Young. Well, what's Diva Talks going to do now? Stay there. At this time, oh, come on, fat. All right, at this time, AJ Styles, I would like to say, in the behalf of the TWF winning team, and as the overseer, or the under overseer of the TWF, I want to say good job and now give you the World Heavyweight Winnings again for the third time. You will do what so many others could not do. Well, thank you Diva Talks. That was kind of you, AJ Styles says. It was so kind of you to, you know, to do all that for me. But thank you, boss. All right. Thank you, Renee Young, for talking with AJ Styles. What was all that about, Michael Cole says. Diva Talks coming out, giving AJ Styles the world heavyweight winnings and making it look like he did something, something on-looking, something bold when he actually did something something shameful you know that is truly sad Michael Cole said that is truly sad you know that AJ Styles is going to get the good winner the good winner the good doer is welcome when he hasn't done anything to be a good doer in some time now has he Michael Cole said I don't really think AJ Styles is a good doer. He's actually a wrong doer, and Diva Talks is going to give him the good doer's welcome, right? You know, you're right about that, Michael Cole, Ashley Williams says, but I don't put anything past AJ Styles or Finn Bauer or any of these, some of these young wrestlers who've been around for a long time and then gotten it into their head that being a jerk, being an evil doer, being a wrong doer is what you got to do. You have Finn Balor, who came from NXT, went to Raw, went to SmackDown, back to NXT, and now he believes being a jerk is what it is. Then you've got AJ Styles, who's been around for a long time too, came to WWE, was on SmackDown for a long time, and then went to Raw, and then from there, well, you know, he thought being a jerk was what he had to do. But that was shameful of AJ Styles and shameful of Finn Balor. Well, you know what the shameful thing is? You singing, singing AJ Styles. You singing, 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 yes, yeah, singing. You singing AJ Styles. You know, that's what's wrong, Ashley Williams. AJ Styles should not be singed, singed, singed for anything that he has done wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. He's no evil doer, wrong doer. He's a good doer. And he needs to have on look for his good deeds, his good doings, his good work. Well, Michael Cole said, well, that's what I think Corey Graves says. Well, Corey Graves, that might be your thought, your belief on AJ Styles, but at the end of the day, AJ Styles will be seen nothing more than a wrong doer who somehow got the good doer's welcome when he should not got that. Shame on Diva Talks, shame on AJ Styles, and shame on Finn Balor. Michael Cole says, well, that's all the time we have here, you know, for TWF uh, Friday Night Smackdown. I'm Michael Cole for Ashley Williams and Corey Graves. We hope you like Friday Night Smackdown, and we'll see you tomorrow for main event or main show.